fuck? Oh my god! It wasn't supposed to be like this. We got a big climb way up the mountain, hundreds of meters up, and it looks like it's gonna start raining, pouring on me. So it's gonna be another one of those grueling trips with a heavy, fully loaded pack way up onto the tops. But it does look very nice and atmospheric today. There's a heavy mist everywhere, and I think some good rain's coming in later in the day. So, should be an epic camp, guys but it's hard work, I'm already heavy breathing. But I've just got to push on hard, get up the mountain, make it to camp, get set up, you know the drill. So, probably put the camera away and I'll come back to you guys back on the tops. But, thanks for tuning in. I think it's gonna be an epic camp, guys. So see you soon. Made it up to the tops. Been going for about two and a half hours straight uphill. Now it flattens out a bit and it's just fully clagged in. I mean, look at this. There's this cloud everywhere. Hopefully the rain can hold off until I get to camp. But it's really cold. There's a slight breeze coming through and it's quite chilly. But I'll push on. I'm gonna get soaked walking through these tussocks and then I'll come back to you once I'm at the ultimate tarn. But it's cold, guys. All right, I've arrived at camp and it's just the most amazing, stunning spot. There's a few little ducks out on the lake and there's kind of like a gentle breeze coming through, but the rain's eased for now, which is nice. I'm drenched, as you can see, but I'm not too cold because the sun's kind of breaking through and warming me up. But I'll chuck my rain jacket on and then I've got to get on to setting the tent up. But just look at this spot. It's incredible here. The clouds coming through and the mist. It's the most amazing campsite. Listen to these ducks! Anyway, I'm gonna get on with putting the tent up, the tarp up, and then I gotta get a brew on because that was a hard walk in. This must be the nicest tent in the entire world to set up. You just put these poles in through the sleeves, put them into this little cup, you just tighten that up, little strap here on each end. Then you pick it out, it's done. I'm going to guy it out all properly this time because I'm way up on the tops. The winds might pick up, so I've got to make sure it's fully secure. The good thing about this tent is it's got sleeves. So the poles, they're attached to the tent in the sleeve. So it's very structurally strong. Kind of like all the Hillebergs. The best designed tents for strength. This one's particularly good. It's got one little guy line here at the back to keep this back panel pulled out. But you can see it's starting to clag in again. There's a few raindrops falling, so better act fast because I think there's more rain coming in. But look at the pitch on this tent. I think it's the best looking tent in the whole entire universe. Right, gotta get my rain jacket on. Starting to come in. Get the tarp out and my guy lines and we'll get that set up. It's so much better having this on. Cuts the wind already. Instantly, when you put on a, a thick raincoat like this, it warms you up. I probably should have put it on straight away, but it wasn't that cold. But I gotta get this up, there's a good branch here, and I can pick it out there and there and off to the side. But I might need to get a pole out the front. So it should be a pretty good configuration here. Starting to come in. I might need a, a branch or something. 
the line lock system. You guys, you've seen it before. Stolen from AB Camping. The ultimate. And part it up. We're set up. It's not that good of a setup, and all the bushcrafters are gonna rip me out, but it's stopping the rain from getting me, and that's the whole point of having a tarp. So, if you're a bushcrafter, you don't have to roast me, because the setup's working. Look, the alpaca beanie, got to get this on, that's way better. Food bag, emergency locator beacon, just in case things go bad. And in here is my dry bag and all the stuff that I don't want to get wet, like my quilt, my extra clothes and my electronics are all stashed up nice and dry in this. So I get all that unpacked in the tent, get my food out, just get everything sorted, and then we'll come back for a brew. Then we have to make a fire pit and do all the jobs. That was a pretty good setup. Oh man, this is when you can really relax. Actually, no, when I get a cup of tea on with some biscuits. That's relax time. Ah, oh, finally I've got a hot cup of coffee. This is when camp really begins. You set up, you get warm, you get dry, you get your shelter made, tent done, and then you sit in your chair and you get a brew on. So I'm just having uh, a Makona and a cappuccino. It's a bit uncivilized for me, but I just want a hot drink. So we'll have this and we'll just enjoy the ambience. It's very, very misty and clagged in just out over the tarn. Visibility is probably like 20 meters, 30 meters. And there's gentle rain falling. But it just looks incredible up here. It's such a nice spot to come and camp. It's a big effort to get here, but it's definitely worth it. But what I think I might do is pull the tarp up off one of the guy out points to volumize it so I have a bit more space. Enjoy this brew. Maybe have a snack, and then I probably have to build a rock pit out in front of me to get plywood. These are absolutely perfect camping conditions. Low wind, nice rain. This is awesome. The heavens have opened. The rain is now falling in a persistent deluge. My setup's pretty good. I volumized the tarp, so I've got pretty good space under here. 
it's on nicely sheltered in this low wind. But you can hear that rain. This is coming in nice and steady, exactly what I wanted. <laughs> it's perfect condition. I've got a nice big cup of tea brewing. I'm gonna have this warm myself up and then it's the big mission to get wood and build a fire pit but the temperature has plummeted nice. quite a bit so I chucked my puffer jacket on and instantly I feel good this rab jacket it's the best the best piece of gear maybe apart from the tent but I'm biased I love the tent so I get the tea brewing and see what happens to this rain just chill out I've got some biscuits which I'll have it's always nice to have a biscuit. Power up with that. And it's into the wood gathering. Oh, I need this cup of tea though. Oh my goodness. It's pretty high altitude camps out here. I'm at 1,000. 375 meters above sea level I think and there is forecast snow tonight a bit further up on the top so there might be a little bit here but I don't think so but there's going to be negative five wind chill and it'll get down to about zero degrees so it is quite cold look what I've got here my all-time favorite biscuits the McVitie's dark chocolate digestives these are the goat of all biscuits. Jaffa cakes are nice, but they got nothing on a digestive, especially dunked in a tea. I salute you, all you British viewers. Mmm. It's a delight. Pure bliss. I found this big log and I've attached it and tensioned it off so I can get a little bit more viewing angle out this way. But I took the puffer jacket off and I've built a fire pit now. Rain's coming back and it's freezing cold, temperature's plummeting. I've got these rocks and I'll build the fire pit just out from the top, I think. I'll get a few more rocks. Pretty good. You can see I've built this fire pit up from all these rocks. Pretty good. It's quite high, so it should keep the heat in, but it's pretty close to the tarp, so I'm just gonna have a small fire in here tonight. There's not a whole lot of wood here. So I'm gonna go out for a scavenge, collect some wood. I brought my little saw up the silky. We'll see. See what we can find. But the rain is just chucking down. It's come back and it's freezing. Here it is. It's so rotten. It'll burn, I guess.
Most of this stuff is just stuff that's fallen off the trees, picked it up off the ground. It's pretty rotten and it's pretty wet. But I'm only gonna have a small fire in here because it's not freezing cold. Well, not cold enough that I need it. And I'm gonna cook my dinner on the fire. So I'll process this up and we'll see how much we have. Oh, this wood's really crap quality. I think I've got a few good bits. This is probably the worst wood I've ever had at camp. It's so wet and so rotten. But we've got to make do with it because we're cooking on it. So I'm going to build up a little pyre and I'll get it going. I probably need a little bit more, but I'll start a small fire now. And then we'll see how we get on. But I have pretty low confidence <laughs> with this wood. It's just so wet and rotten. You can see I've built my little pyre here, little little base where I've chucked the fire starter in, and I just seen a wicker. So all of a sudden, we're on high alert. All right, let's see if I can do this. At least the wind's down, which will make it easier. Might need this piece as well. I think it should be alright. I can just feed little sticks on and get them hot enough that they start to burn. That's the secret to it. You can't put too much wood on at once and they can't be too big pieces. I can't tell if it's smoke or fog. <laughs> so much mistiness around. Look, the wick is back. So you see this, it's my little tower, and this stuff's just, oh man, it's so rotten. You might think it's harder to get fires going in the rain, but when it's actually like this, in the woods of this quality, this is probably even more difficult just considering how wet it is. Wow, that's a good way to get 
all my gear and my tent reeking of smoke. <laughs> that was absolutely ridiculous. I'm not even sure you can see me because there's so much smoke going past the camera. But I think it's kind of going. I have to monitor it closely until it just gets hot enough. But you see what I mean about how it's hard to get a fire going when it's so wet? Usually when I'm up on the tops, there's lots of dry little branches, but there's just not much here. Most of the stuff I got, I picked up off the ground, so it's just really rotten. But it is what it is. Oh, hopefully once it gets going a bit, the smoke stops and it kind of goes up through the rock pit. Oh, oh my god. Far out. This is a smoke nightmare. I told you this wood was terrible. Oh, I'm like choking out here. Okay, well I may have just stabilized the situation. There's still smoke coming through, but yeah, I don't know. It's kind of steam and smoke. So I'm not sure if this was worth it. This fire, if you can even call it that. It's been a smoking disaster. But that's just what happens sometimes when you go camping and you have terrible wood. Oh, it's in my eyes. This is what you get. But I think what I'm going to do is just chill out, try and recover from my smoke inhalation. Might have some hot and spicy noodles and just relax, or we'll try to. Enjoy the rain and get this fire under control. But I don't know if you can see all the smoke and my eyes are watering. <coughs> I don't know if I'm the fire king guys, I'm the fire idiot. Alright, I've stabilised the situation. That was an absolute nightmare, that fire smoke. You've seen it coming through and getting on my eyes. My eyes are just like watering, bogeys coming out my nose. Horrible. But I've been in the tent, I got changed out of my damp layers, got my dry base layers on, and my alpine pants, the puppy jacket, and the rain jacket. So, I'm feeling pretty warm. And despite the horribleness of that fire, it's actually putting out a really nice heat. So everything is okay now, and the camp is it's being stabilized. So I tell you, 
That's the reason why I don't like cooking on a fire, because smoke like that can ruin a camp. And I guess it's kind of my fault, because I should have known that the wind was coming in this way, but you know what, I did it anyway, and I paid the price, but we've got nice steady rain coming down now, and I'm just letting the fire die down a bit, and then I'll cook dinner on it. But I think it's about 6 p.m., and it's been a hard camp so far, but we're getting there. got dinner on and I have sausage meat which I've put into the pan over the fire, broken that up at home and then I chucked in some onions and a little bit of olive oil and I'll slowly cook that over the coals and behind me I've got some radix pesto rice which I'm going to cook up, rehydrate, put that down and then put the sausage and onions and cheese over the top. It should be quite a delightful meal. And cooking over the fire is actually quite fun. It smells incredible. Get that rehydrating. I've got a little chili, which I'll add in here. Look at that. It's all caramelized. Cooked up nice. It smells delicious. Those chilies are in there. It's time to get the cheese on. This is a blend of cheese. I think it's a cheddar, a smoked cheddar, and a mozzarella. So it tastes real nice, kind of smoky and kind of sweet, milky flavour. But I'll let that melt down, get all nice, and I'll put the rice onto my plate, and I'll plate it up. It smells delicious, everything's good now. After the atrocious smoke, I have redemption. Man, I'm pretty excited about this. Holy cow, I'll show you this. See all that cheese and sausage melted on there? Okay, so I get my plate. I get this rice, which should be all nicely rehydrated. And just plonk. Oh, it smells so good, pesto, kind of nutty and sweet. Get all that rice on there, level it out. And then it's just a matter of scooping on this monstrosity. Holy cow, look at that mozzarella. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This might be the best camp meal. Ho 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 ho! Okay, this camp went from nightmare to pleasure central real fast. Cleaning up this is going to be a bit of a hassle. But we'll deal with that later. Okay, there's my fork. Guys, look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you sausage, cheddar, cheese, pesto.
an exquisite bush dining experience brought to you by Abel and Victoria on the mountain. Give it a taste. Oh, look at all that mozzarella. All right, I've outdone myself again. What would really elevate this would be a dousing in Tabasco pepper sauce. Mm. Oh. No, nah, it's perfect. It doesn't even need it. I'm in food heaven, camp heaven. I mean, look at all that mozzarella stringy cheese. Mm. Cooking over the fire was actually quite fun. <laughs> I might do it again. Despite the pain and the suffering, I think it was worth it in the end. Look at these chunks of sausage meat. Sausage and cheese, mozzarella, pesto. It's exquisite. You guys gotta try this camp meal. It's a winner, simple, easy. Fills you up, there's so much food. The weather's coming in now, the fire's still just smoking away. But I think the full brunt of the storm's coming, and it's very, very cold. The wind chill's supposed to get to negative eight, I just checked the updated forecast. <laughs> and it's November, this is crazy. I'm gonna get another cup of tea on, have some biscuits. Good thing I brought my full winter gear. I don't have my winter sleeping pad and my winter quilt, but this tent's warm because the cold thing can zip up. But I brought my alpine pants and my big puffer jacket, so without that, I'd be cold. The alpaca beanie. This is my new favorite piece of gear. This thing is legit. big brew and then I'm getting into the tent. The weather has really come in. <laughs> big cup of pear tea. 
and I'll have a few digestions for dessert. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting into the bed. It's very, very grim out here. Man, look at these. I'll show you again. The good old digestive dunk. The wind's picking up too, which is not very nice. But the tent will be able to handle it, so it's no worries. Man, no good. I've come to the conclusion, they are by far the best biscuit. Can you hear that rain? It just keeps coming. I'm happy I put the effort in to get up to this spot though. You know, this is right up on a mountain. And there are much easier spots that I could go camping at. But I hope you guys appreciate coming out to these remote locations. For the full camping experience. And a few of you are probably wondering, where is Victoria? Don't worry, she'll be back. We're doing we're doing another camp soon. And she'll be coming on it. So don't stress everyone, Victoria's still around. this side of the tarp down to try and give myself a bit more shelter. Not sure it's going to help much. But the, the rain's blowing like directly in at the tent. Everything's pretty wet. Oh, it's just brutal. It wasn't supposed to be like this. The forecast tricked us. Oh man. I might just chuck my pack inside the tent. There's room in there somewhere. a disaster. Gotta peek this out. This is outrageous. It wasn't supposed to be like this guys. Ah. Right. Almost there. It's so wet inside the tent. It's because I'm I'm like inside a cloud and the air's just been blowing all this moisture in. And everything inside the tent is like dripping wet. <laughs> it's an absolute disaster. I'll try and show you. See all these water droplets? It's pretty hard to see all over the inside of the tent. You can see all this water as well. It's just mist from being inside the cloud. I made a pretty crucial error on this camp. I forgot to bring a very important piece of gear 
and that's just a big microfiber towel to like mop up all the water. I didn't really think it would be like this though. I thought it would be a little bit of rain and kind of relaxed. But it actually turned into an exceedingly grim camp. But I should be alright now that I'm in the tent. I'm all tucked up. It's pretty cozy in here. I'll try to bring the tree around. Sorry for all the shaking. But I think it's going to be a condensation nightmare tonight. Unless some nice dry winds pick up. But I should survive. <laughs> what a crazy experience. It's pretty cool in here though. I'm quite warm. I have my UGQ. Negative one quilt. You can see that down here. And I can wear my rab jacket if I have to. And I have the big Agnes, Zoom UL, and the Cedar Summit pillow. And I got these fairy lights in here. You can see these. They're pretty cool. But I'm pretty tired, man. That was rough. Real rough. I think I'm going to go to sleep. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully, nothing crazy happens. Just hear that rain. It's endless. There might be snow. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning everybody, I'm up and out of the tent already and there's a bitterly cold wind. As you can see, there's the most amazing sunrise. The sun's not up yet, it's coming up, it will come up over this tarn here and straight into the campsite. You can see camp behind me there. But it was a cold night last night, I was just warm enough. I had my full jacket on and the quilt cinched up right around me. Man, it's freezing. There's no snow, but that wind, there's a wind chill. But I think I'm going to make a coffee and I'll get up fully. But I'll film a bit more of the sunrise, it's incredible. What an incredible morning to be out in the tent. <laughs> this is amazing. I can see the moon. I think I'm acquiring the taste again. For the good old Makonas. Back to the good old days. If you've been watching for a while and you're not new and only watched a few recent vids, you would know that this used to be the routine and maybe we'll go back to it. Oh my goodness, that coffee's a lifesaver. Like I was saying last night, um, all the water in the tent, how everything was dripping. I opened up the zip at the top here and the vent on the fly, because there's a two-way zipper on it, so I pulled that down. And it's actually dried out pretty much the entire inside of the tent. My quilt was soaking wet, now it's dry. Yeah, it's pretty good. The venting, I mean, the winds came up a bit. It must have just forced the air through the tent. But it worked all right. I was getting a little bit worried that I was going to be cold and wet. But I pulled through wearing the jacket, fully tucked up, and the beanie thing on my face, the alpaca beanie too. So we survived the night, even though it was a borderline cold. Oh, but guess what's for breakfast? I'm not going to tell you yet. I'll show you in the next scene. <laughs> oh, 
Wow, that's the sun coming up right into camp. Look at that, look at the light on the tarp. It's coming up through the trees. I can feel it hitting my face. That's amazing. Instant. Oh, that sun coming up and hitting my face. That feels so nice. It's like rejuvenating my body instantly. It's coming right into the campsite. <laughs> it's incredible. What a feeling. Oh, I need to get up and cook breakfast. I just don't want to though. It's warm in here. Frozen. Far out. I told you it was cold. That's no joke. Ice. Man. Far out. New Zealand weather. It's crazy. That's better. Time to get breakfast on, I think. This is giving me some good shelter though, the tarp set up. For breakfast I'm doing English muffins or a, a McMuffin with bacon, eggs, Swiss cheese and a little bun thing. Never done this before, so first time for everything, it should be quite delicious. I think I've created a bit of a mess. I'm not going to be able to toast these. So, yeah, we'll just see. We'll see what happens with this. Um, this frying pan doesn't work very well when you're using it on the little gas burner. But I think it should be okay. Get some bacon on there. And then I put the cheese on the egg. <laughs> it's kind of like a big sticky mess. Oh, well, camp breakfast. It's always a challenge. Try some of that. Mmm. It certainly tastes good. Alright. We'll try scoop. This is the egg. With cheese on it. So that worked quite well. Yeah, it forms a bit of a crust and just comes off. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Eat some of this cheese. I'll show you. Look at this. McMuffins. Bacon and egg McMuffin. See that? Delicious. Ooh. Hopefully it's all cooked right. I think it is. Wow. Oh. How do I always make such nice food at camp? Oh man. That's thoroughly delicious. The sweet nuttiness of the Swiss cheese, the salty bacon, the nice eggy flavor and the nice bun. Nice, nice, nice. If you guys like seeing me camp here, go back in the channel, further back, right back, 
and you'll find some videos of me camping here when I was filming just on my little GoPro when I was a complete amateur. And I've got some real good shots. You can see the whole tarn frozen and stuff. So if you're interested, go back, have a look. And also, um, I asked everyone to follow me on Instagram last video. If you're still watching and you haven't, go follow me on Instagram. There should be a link on the channel page and you can kind of get a glimpse kind of behind the scenes. I'll post a bit of stuff on there. Let everyone know what I'm up to. But I appreciate that, so thank you if you've done that. Mm. You didn't think I'd leave camp without having a proper brew, did you? No way. So we're doing up a V60. We're going to have this. Enjoy the last bits of camp. And then we've got to pack up, tarp down, pack all the stuff in the tent up, and enjoy the walk out. Should be a nice walk. Perfect conditions today. And it's mostly downhill, apart from the big grunt at the start through the tussocks. But all in all, this was a exceedingly enjoyable camp um, I've learned a few things and I also had a few hard times the smoke that's gonna be funny looking back at that footage how bad it was I've kind of forgotten it now but it did block up my sinus so in the tent last night I was having trouble breathing but the gear performed excellent the tent again I love this thing setting it up it's the perfect size and weight and strength tarp did good it was just warm enough in my quilt, the rab jacket and everything. Cooking on the fire was fun, especially, you know, it's kind of sucked, but the results were good. The silver ant titanium um, pot that I use, I'll put a link in the description to their website. They've got some good stuff. Uh, that was fun. And yeah, the bacon and egg McMuffins, they were really good. Oh man, this sunlight. But thanks everyone for coming along. Thanks for watching. Thanks to the channel members. I really appreciate you guys that you've taken the taken the time and you want to support the channel. So thank you very much and just thanks to everyone. Hope you enjoy the videos and there's plenty more coming because I love camping. But I'm gonna enjoy this and I think do a quick pack up and I might come back to you on the trail. All right, beginning the journey back. It's about 8.30 in the morning, so it's pretty early still. But it should be a really nice walk out. These are stunning conditions. Pack up was pretty good. And <clears throat> feeling quite nice. There's a little bit of dusting of snow on the hills up over there. I'll show you once I'm up on this ridge. But it should take me about three hours, I reckon, to walk back to the car. But the pack's pretty light, I ate all the food, so. <laughs> Whoa, not as much weight. Look at this. Check that out. Look how stunning this location is. There's a little bit of dusting of snow up on the tops there. You probably can't see it with this lens. It's just an amazing spot. It's like the most beautiful place you could ever come and camp. <sighs> but I got to leave it. I can always come back though. I will definitely be back here at some point. <clears throat> but I'll carry on, whoa. I'll carry on walking out and I'll show you a bit of the scenery. But I'll come back to you guys a bit later. Oh man, just look at this. 
Look at that. It's amazing. I've got to get back over to here and walk down along through the trees and back down over there. But at the moment, it's up down there and up there. It takes a bit of effort. <laughs> if this was covered in snow, it'd be a nightmare. I made it across the tussock fields. It's hard work. Just push hard, no rests. But I'm almost back on the main track. Then it's just a cruisy walk down the hill. Oh, there'll be no winter wonderland today though, but that's all right. We have stunning clear conditions for the walk up. But I'll carry on. I think I'll come back to you at the car and say goodbye. Oh man. Good thing I had breakfast. Powered me up for the day. Let's look at this though. You probably can't see much. It's just stunning. Up in the mountains. Back down at the car. That was a fast walk out. I think it only took me it was about an hour and a half. Must be a record time. But that was a great camp. Thanks guys for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy all the vids. But, you know, it's my pleasure to bring you the camping experience. So, I love doing it. I hope you guys enjoy it. But, oh, I need a drink of water and get the wagon opened up. Whew. But I think it's about, yeah, two hour drive home. And then I need to get to work sorting out my gear and making an awesome video. But, once again, thanks for coming along. Enjoy all your comments, even the bad ones, I find them funny. And yeah, thanks members, thanks subscribers, and I hope you guys all have a lovely week. See you later.